welcome back to the channel it's another off day today and I'm headed out East County today is kind of exciting because today I have a specific destination I'm trying to reach it's uh, if you're familiar with the impossible railroad I've covered a little bit of it in the past um, I'm going to a section of it that's in the canyon um, you may have heard of the the Goat Canyon Trestle. I'm not going to that. Uh, that's a little too far out of reach. But there's, just south of that, uh, there is a really deep canyon. And there are three rail cars uh, parked on a siding. So my plan is to head out there off-road to a place um, where I think I can get the truck to, if not the truck, definitely the quad. It's on a hilltop somewhere above those rail cars and then launch my drone and see if I can fly the drone out and take some footage of the three rail cars. I don't know what it'll be like when I get there. Uh, I did plan it out on Google Maps as you see right here insert map here all right here's the map so you know obviously there's San Diego and um, Poway up here heading east on the 8 this one as usual um, so I got a new set of waypoints that I dropped on the map I'm gonna roll over here to the Inco Pa um, by the park I'm not actually going into this park I'm going off to these trails over here um, they're not marked on the map but when you look at the satellite imagery um, I can get off at this exit over here the Incopa Park Road and then backtrack on Old Highway 80 over here by the brake check station um, I hop on this dirt road I think if we, if I went down this way, this way is easier, but I just kind of hopscotch along this gravel road, park underneath this uh, thing to air my tires out. It's nice and shady. And then I head up the rest of the way. Um, you can see I dropped a whole bunch of waypoints here to kind of guide me through all of these trails. Um, to make sure I don't get too lost. I usually study these uh, before I go out. And then over here, I got uh, to launch point and then to south launch point. So I can, there was actually two launch points. This is a shortcut that I'm taking instead of going all the way around. So we'll see what this looks like. And then same thing, I always mark to where it's going to. I'm gonna follow this through the wash and then you know at some point i'm guessing i'm gonna have to ditch the truck and unload the quad and this is it this will be the last leg going up all this right here this little route to this little point and i think from here i'll be able to launch because if you look down over the cliff uh there's a there's the train cars right there that i'm looking for so that's where we're headed um looking forward to it it's just a quick day trip i gotta be back um, in town by five o'clock got the kids halloween event going on today and other stuff so let's just go out you know take the video and come back um but it should be a good day it shouldn't be too rushed Anyway, I'll see you on the trail. All right, I just got off on the Incopa Park Road. If you remember the Valley of the Moon, uh, this is the same exit, which is the Valley of the Moon's on the south side of the 8 freeway. Today I'm heading on the north side into a, there's like an off-road park or something like that. Um, 
it's just a bunch of fire roads or power line roads so that's where I'm headed and um, I'm gonna park under the bridge just to let the air out out of the tires get out of the sun although it's not very hot today I'm actually not even running the air conditioning right now it is still early it's 10 o'clock uh, but normally I would be running the AC by now um, but the outside air feels nice so I think it's supposed to be in the 70s so it should be fun all right I'm under the bridge kind of shady it's a little chilly in the wind but uh you know the routine um air down the tires first and um have some coffee i got some uh starbucks frappuccino i think I think I got one right here should be a fun day all righty gonna move on out there's not much to film on this part it's just a gravel road This place actually has an address, Carrizo Creek. That's the name of the road. So. Uh, this is part of the trail. You can see it's a little rocky and rough coming through. So it's gonna be a slow ride for sure. But we'll see how far, how much further up this I can get. It wasn't like difficult for the truck, but it, you just got to go really slow. I wanted to take some video here, but didn't want to launch the drone because there's uh, power lines like right above me. So it's probably not a good idea to do that. Uh, I figured out where those power lines go. There's a... Uh, radio tower up here it's kind of wondering wondering why there's power lines here in the middle of nowhere now you know long time ago back in the 90s um, I used to service these remote radio towers I was a road tech I had a little not a little but I had a Dodge Ram extra cab long bed four-wheel drive it was nice it was uh, it bought a brand new the company that I worked for and um, I got Whoopsie. Stall. Let's try this again. And so it was fun. It was like my job was to drive around out here and uh, service those radio towers. It was a fun adventure. It was a fun time. Uh, of my life it didn't pay anything uh, the pay really sucked for the most part um, I was making around I think $12, $12 an hour as a radio tech with RF experience and a bachelor's um, yeah well they sort of factored in the gas card and the truck but you know that don't pay my bills 
because I ended up having to leave that job uh, and the company was going under and I didn't want to stick around so I ended up jumping ship but yeah it was fun it was a fun time but uh, I wouldn't want to do it again it was a, it was a good chapter we'll leave it at that Check my map, make sure I'm on the right noodle here. Really quick. Yeah, we're still good. I gotta make a turn right here somewhere. I got a thing marked here as a shortcut, but I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty rough. So, we will see. Right on the hilltop. I think this is the shortcut going down that way. Um, the other long way is around this thing going this way. Uh, we'll see. So this particular shortcut that I found on the map was uh, pretty steep. Um, you can see it in some parts of the video when the drone gets exactly to the side of me. Uh, when it follows you, you don't get quite the angle, but you can see how fast the truck is descending. Uh, this particular part here was kind of sketchy. Um, with trying to fly the drone, drive the truck, and then navigate this obstacle here. It was a bit nerve-wracking, but I got through it. Also came back up it eventually. Um, but here you see how steep it is. As soon as the drone shows the horizon, I had to back out. I went down and um, it looked really bad. So I noticed there was like a side trail to bypass the rough part. So I decided to take that, which, which it was much easier. But here you see the drones level the horizon. And you can see how steep the trail is with the truck coming down it. The trail wasn't too much at an angle, it was just straight up and down. It makes it hard when it's, you know, it's already steep and then on top of that it's leaning to the side. But we got through it all good. Found a tarantula just working its way across the desert. It's pretty cool. They generally stop and um, curl up into a ball if you get too close. So this one is just sort of sitting there. 
gonna let it be and mosey on down. Actually, I'm almost thinking about unloading the quad because it's, the truck can do it, but it's extremely, I'm just driving in the creek at this point. I'm gonna unload the quad. Um, the truck will do it, but that's what the quad's for at this point. All right, I got the quad unloaded. I'm gonna hit the rest of the way on that. Uh, there's no point in trying to fight the truck in here. But, all right, let's see where it goes. Yeah, this is a little too rough for the truck. It goes through here by all means, but you can see that the quad is like, um, you know, 10 times more better, easier. I got to my drone launch point and yeah that was a bitch could I get the truck up here probably 
Um, actually, I know I could, but it would take forever. It would be extremely slow. So I'm gonna launch off of this ledge. I'm actually gonna walk down that way a little bit. I'm gonna get my big camera because you can see a couple of the tunnels over there. And um, I'm gonna get the big camera out and take some pictures of that. And I'm gonna hike down. Maybe I can actually see down in there and see if I can see the train. So I'm gonna take some stills, brought out the old uh, Dirk Diggler. And um, I'm gonna walk down there and see what I can get. So yeah, I can see some of the tunnels, but I can't see the train. Um, the, the train cars are over another ridge. So I'm gonna have to fly over that. It's about a 2,000 foot flight. I don't know if I got the range, you know, but I'm going to give it a shot. Throw a fresh battery in and go for it. I'm just going to launch over here from the quad. Thought I was going to launch from over there, but. That ain't gonna happen. There's no need for it. Won't I won't gain anything. So it looks like this will be my my launch point. Alright, I'm gonna run this camera for the audio. It is windy, so I'm kinda curious to see what it's gonna do. Alright.
Not sure what happened there, but crashed at the last minute. Why? All right, but at least we recovered it and it's still recording. Yeah, it looks like it went stupid at the last minute. Um, I don't know what happened, but it, it sort of did a spiral and flipped upside down and I had to do the emergency shutdown. I think it's okay though. It's a little dusty, but we're okay. All right, I'm gonna pack it up. And I'm gonna head back to the truck. I think the mission's done. I didn't get the footage I really wanted. Uh, didn't have the Wi-Fi to see where I'm at. I did have control of the drone for the most part, but uh, you know, and the wind was maybe tossing it around, so I don't really know until I play back the footage. Alrighty, gonna start this treacherous ride back because going downhill is always a pain in the butt because some of that was pretty rough. I do have a fresh battery now in the GoPro, so at least if I crash, I'll have it on film. some pretty gnarly stuff that's the trail I'm going on down there and up into that canyon but this particular last part up here there was some crazy stuff not, not looking forward to that this being one of it I should go down that one or go down this one. sketchy part
last part getting up to the launch point was zero pitch. Got a ride in. It was good. It was, um, did what I came out to do. I didn't get the shot that I wanted. You know, I wanted to get a lot closer to the train um, with the drone, but that wasn't possible because of the link. Couldn't hold on to the link, the Wi Fi link. But it was good. I got a decent ride in. Descend right into the with the quad, and it was a workout too. Some of these hard trails are, you know, they they take quite a bit. So, but it's good. I want to pack this mess up. And um, gonna. I'm going to head to the Golden Acorn Casino today, and I'm going to have that prime rib. I haven't had it in a while. That sounds like a plan to me. All right, let's turn this thing around.
decided to climb this hill and drive the drone. Working my way onto the pavement. I'm gonna hop on the freeway and hit the Golden Acorn Casino for that prime rib. They better have some too. They better have some. Got me some prime rib. Now we're headed home. Go get the kids. And um, 
start the weekend. So it's time for some snake on the beach. Thank you for watching and until next time.